even as a kid, growing up, we were poor. We weren't even poor, we were po. <laughs> we couldn't afford the other letters, man. <laughs> we had no money. I was actually being sponsored by a family from Haiti. Yeah, that's a funny joke. <laughs> I see this lady over here struggling. She don't know if she should laugh or not. Hmm. <laughs> when you're poor, your creativity excels. Like it really, really excels. I remember I wanted an action figure when I was 10 years old. I wanted an action figure so bad. My birthday came along. My dad hands me a box. I open it up. It's empty. He said, it's invisible, man. I was like, that is awesome! <laughs> I played with that thing for like three weeks, man. So my brother hid it from me. <laughs> Couldn't find it nowhere, man. I knew he took it. We played games, we just made up games. We played this one game called uh, Talk About You. The instructions were to just talk about you. <laughs> That's all we did, we talked about each other. My friends would talk about me, be like, Michael Jr., you got some big feet. And I was good at this game. I was like, oh yeah, well you so dark skinned, I bet if you ride a motorcycle, you get a ticket for tenant windows. <laughs> <laughs> it's hilarious. White people are looking for black people to make sure they can laugh. It's just okay. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah. It's okay? You sure? No? Mm. <laughs> we ain't had no money, man. We had a, my parents would buy us some stuff, but they couldn't pay for everything. Like, we had the game Operation, right? We ain't had no batteries. <laughs> then my cousin came over, and he figured out a way how to plug it into the wall, right? <laughs> it's a whole nother game now, man. <laughs> 